Hello everyone, welcome to Ikeda platform and this is Ravin Jangir here, your electrical faculty. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the generation of harmonics by the transformer. So I will start with some of the points which are listed here and one by one we will uh, check what are the points are going to say here. So let's start. So if I start with the point number one, that point number one is going to say that the harmonics, I can say the harmonics in the voltages. So whatever the harmonics in the voltages causes due to the magnetic distortion, causes due to the magnetic distortion and the magnetic saturations. So you can uh, say that the whatever the uh, harmonics causes in the transformer are mainly because of the magnetic distortion. Okay, we will see the what is the magnetic distortion and the magnetic saturation. So every you can say the material is having the saturation. The saturation is the inner value. So if a material is inbuilt will have the saturation, it cannot provide the flux at the infinite value. So that only depends on the uh, material type of the material. Now, so if I talk about uh, the point number two, it is saying that the magnitude of these harmonics, one second, magnitude of uh, these harmonics depends upon the operating flux density so what is the operating flux density that is actually denoted by the b that is actually denoted by the b so that is uh, that that why i'm no uh, that's why i'm talking about that so magnitude of these harmonics depends upon the operating flux density and that operating flux density is b which mainly depends which mainly depends on the value of your uh, you can say the value of flux okay because the magnetic flux density is equal to 5 by a so total flux passing through a particular area is called the magnetic flux density now so if i talk about the third point number three it is saying that the conventional transformers are conventional transformers are generally operated at high magnetic flux density not the conventional it will be converter it will be converter okay so converter transformers are generally operated at the high flux density well at a high flux density than as compared to the conventional three phase transformer if you are using the conventional three phase transformer so which will be more operating will which will have the more operational high frequency uh, or you can say the magnetic flux density you can say the converter transformer that we that you are using in the hvdc transmission now if you talk about so that the chances of generation of harmonics more in the converter transformer as it is operating in the magnetic high magnetic flux density it is operating at a high magnetic flux density so due to that high magnetic flux density it may have the chances of the harmonics more harmonics okay because ultimately they are actually related with the flux distributions okay now so converter which is a basic unit in the hvdc transition causes the cyclic changes of the impedance in the circuit okay so that causes the cyclic changes and that's why these are called as the harmonic current generators these are called the harmonic current generator so converter which is a basic unit in the hvdc transmission so if i talk about the emf equation of the transformer on the primary side we have already discussed in the transformer chapters uh, in the second uh, second year okay so we have discussed about the emf equation although we have also studied in the basic electrical engineering in the first year but that is kind of same so v1 i can say that emf equation and that emf equation can be found on the primary side or you can find on the secondary side that will depend on the value of number of turns on the primary and number of turns on the secondary this is given as the v1 is equal to minus e1 and n1 omega cos omega t and this is actually the value at the no load but the primary magnetizing current will not be the sinusoidal due to the bh curve so that if i talk about the magnetizing current on the primary side so that is not going to be in the sinusoidal proper sinusoidal, full sinusoidal value and that can be shown in this diagram this is the initial or uh, you can say the residual flux and this is going the variations the variations of the im and here we generally use h 
and here we generally use b that's why we are using it a bh curve we generally say bh curve or you can say the hysteresis curve and that is uh, that is due to the uh, you can say the variation of the current and according to the flux so that is a curve drawn that is called the hysteresis curve and correspondingly i have drawn the flux value and the distribution of the flux value it is kind of here and im is so shown here it is not the proper sinusoidal and its value is is value is this is the maximum value and this is the ic current up to here from okay and this is value of this and this is the ic current okay now we will move for the next points the waveform of the current is not similar to the sinusoidal if i talk about the waveform so that waveform is not similar to the sinusoidal we have seen in this diagram the sinusoidal should be a proper curve here but uh, it is seen that the im is not having a proper sinusoidal curve here hysteresis effect if we consider the hysteresis effect let us we consider the hysteresis effect the non sinusoidal magnetizing current is not symmetrical about its maximum value so that is the non sinusoidal magnetic current what we were what we were talking about that is actually not symmetrical about its maximum value so that will that is not going to be maximum uh, symmetrical about its maximum value and that is that happens due to the distortion you can the distortion causes by the triplet harmonics now the cases of the harmonics arises and these harmonics causes the these fundamental problems which i am discussing now but we generally want that we should have the sinusoidal voltage or proper sinusoidal curve or proper sinusoidal waveform to maintain the sinusoidal wave voltage the give a path to the triplet harmonic it is going to say that if we want if we want to maintain the sinusoidal voltage then we generally require uh, we generally require path for the that triplet harmonics because we will have the fundamental harmonics then the triplet harmonics your you can say the harmonics under the 5 7 or 11 15 like that we will have the harmonics so hence we generally use the delta connected so for uh, for giving a path to the triplet harmonic we generally use the delta connected windings okay guys now we will move for the last point uh, last point for this slide that is the if we talk about that transformer if we talk about that transformer then excited by the sinusoidal voltage produces the symmetrical excite, uh, excitation current having any odd harmonics it is saying that the transformer will have the only the odd harmonics it is going to say that and this is the simplest bh curve which is provided here and according to that we have also given the excitation current value or curve of the excitation curve if let us suppose there is a magnetic imbalances magnetic imbalances then the bh curve and the excitation current won't have the same shape as for the no load so no load and due to the magnetic imbalances the shape the shape of the waveform will also be distorted and due to this distortion the shape will not be the same as as it was the previously due to this imbalance due to this imbalance the average flux is going is not equal to zero generally we will have the average flux equal to zero for the full cycle but due to the this imbalance there will be a distortion in the waveform and due to this distortion in the waveform it will have the average flux is not equal to zero now under the under, under the balance condition if we talk about the balance condition that converter will have the fundamental and the normal frequency normal harmonics so it will have the fundamental plus normal harmonics and these harmonics are kind of the fifth the sixth the eleventh and thirteenth and so on okay so these normal harmonics if we talk about these normal harmonics uh, on the ac side then it will have the some particular order which we have already discussed so many times and that is the pk plus minus one that is the pk plus minus one so what is the p what is the p here it is a pulse number and k is your integer okay now 
the only fundamental component is required component if you talk about the general purpose of operation related with the harmonics then only the fundamental co component because that will have the same frequency as the supply frequency but when we use the when we we not use when the harmonics are generated they will have this different different types of frequency if let us suppose there are the fifth harmonic uh, is inserted in the system then it will have the five times uh, the frequency as as of the fundamental frequency okay these normal harmonics what are the normal harmonics the normal harmonics are those harmonics which follow this relation that is pk plus minus one and these normal harmonics are actually called the characteristic harmonics we have already already discussed in the ipc schemes the characteristic harmonics non-characteristic harmonics at that time i have uh, discussed the non-characteristic harmonics and uh, what is the non characteristic that is which do not follow the pk plus minus 1 relation so i hope up to this you have uh, understood all the concept related with this topic so tata bye bye and thank you